and welcome back to the southern snack where life is too short to be serious all right before i even talk we need to go ahead and pose for this thumbnail awesome that worked all right now to grab this burger out of my hand and uh, i did not grab every single item i could have gotten at jack and box today i grabbed a lot though I uh, spent almost $30, but that is what it is. I would like for you to show your appreciation for this review and for me uh, by hitting that subscribe button and liking this video and giving a comment. Uh, but yeah, Jack and Box, a lot of times they load up their menu and I prefer it that way. Uh, you know, rather than gradually doing it, if you're going to be far away, I like it when you load it up. Give me a reason to come back out. Um, but three new creamachinos, mocha, caramel, vanilla. Uh, two new sauce and loaded uh potato wedges spicy and then ranch I mean, we've had these we've had these different things before there's no need to be trying over and over again i just got the spicy one just for the heck of it and then the double sourdough jack which is just the second patty added to the regular sourdough jack but i don't think i've ever had their sourdough jack um and the breakfast tacos so the most exciting things are the breakfast tacos and the cream of chinos i would say so yeah um that was my run through. I'm going to go ahead and start chowing down. Uh, where do we start? Well, we'll start with the breakfast taco. I haven't had a breakfast taco from ba Jack and Box. Looks like it's got like hot sauce. They say it uses Jimmy Jean sausage. Doesn't look like sausage at all. Egg and a corn tortilla shell. So, yeah, wish me luck. Hope I don't die eating this, but let's just squeeze some over here and see how it tastes. It's got a good crunch. It's like a, pecan, a picante sauce, like a tomato. While this isn't something that'll knock your socks off, it's nice and greasy, crispy, and that fluffy egg really goes down smooth. It's not terrible. Um, it's got some odd flavors, of course, from being fried in that deep fryer and that grease. Um, and, you know, it's it's not preferable to get this type of item from a jack-in-the-box. But it's interesting. I, I'd settle for like a six. I give it a six. I think it's fair. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely an interesting item. So move on to the burger which looks dry as heck it's got american i don't know if that's white american or if that's cheddar but yeah that's a dry looking burger man bacon oh i don't know the first time i had the burger i was impressed ever since eh, this is dry oh <laughs> Yeah, super dry. The seasoning is good, though. Yeah, I, I like the flavor. I mean, it's a cheap fast food burger, um, despite it being super dry. I did. Again, it's got some... some uh, parts to it that are enjoyable some that kind of make me go huh you know do i really super enjoy this so i mean i i think with what we've got here i think a six is fair too i mean it's enjoyable it's got some good redeeming qualities to it but it doesn't stand out and i wouldn't like say you have to go get this uh plus it's got a meatier profile to it i would say with that extra patty so i think that really adds on, even though it looks super dry. Uh, did they give me a fork? I don't think they did. Which is weird. Because. It's literally. Loaded. Who's going to eat this with their fingers, right? You know? Look at this thing. They put way too much sauce on this. But yeah. Let's go ahead and try. Like maybe a Wedgeworth. 
this or two wedges worth. I was gonna say it's like, I, I think it's ranch in their um, buffalo, but no, I think it's ranch in their spicy good good. And cheese. Despite being a big mess, these are actually pretty good. The flavor tastes good. It's just super messy, a little bit too saucy. And at times soggy, but there is some crunch, some crispiness to it. I like the heat profile. And I think this is a very solid item. I think this is probably, you know, the best of the three items that we had today. Um, I would probably say it's better than the ranch if we would have to say yeah if we're thinking about the ranch i would probably get, have given the ranch pie a seven maybe a six and a half this is this is good enough to get a seven and a half uh, if it wasn't so saucy maybe even an eight but yeah that is it for the food items now to the crema chinos vanilla mocha and caramel look at these um they would only sell me larges don't know why they were out of all the other sizes but oh well Ooh, I like that. Wow. That is super smooth. That is weird. So it's not like a milkshake. A milkshake is a little bit thicker. But, you know, it's not like coffee because it's more liquidy. Somebody got some solidity to it. But wow, I, I really like that. The flavor of coffee and vanilla work so well together. Maybe it could be stronger in coffee, but with what we've got here, I'm gonna give this a eight and a half. Um, just because I think coffee could be stronger than that. But I like the texture there. It really just goes down so smooth and it surprised me how creamy these are. Living up to that name, Cremacino. As for the mocha, bolder flavor. Yet still very creamy. These are perfect for summer. And I know summer's rolling out, but I think these are ideal. I'll give the mocha, I'll give it a nine. I think it's that good. All right, caramel. Let's see. Caramel usually ends up pretty daggone high most of the time, so we'll see. Again, I've been saying this all day long. I've been to a lot of places. The food items have just been okay today, but the drinks that I've been doing, the milkshakes, the ice creams, man, they've all been doing great, so it's crazy. Ooh. Okay, usually... Caramel stands out. You know, it's usually really good. But this one's not my favorite. The caramel kind of tastes cheap. And a bit too sweet. Yeah. It hinders the overall product. Um, I'm just not really feeling this one. I would actually say this is probably my least favorite, one of my least favorite items I've had today. I remember I had Chester's new chicken sandwich. That was garbage. But this, I, I'm going to give it a five. Um, I mean, it's it's it, it's got some enjoyable notes to it, obviously, but the caramel is just not hitting right. Um, and the flavor could just be a lot better. But it's still got that creamy texture. It's still got some good flavor to it. So I can't say it's one I would definitely definitely recommend against. But as compared to the other two, it pales starkly in comparison. So um, that's just how I see it. That's just the way I'm looking at it. But uh, yeah, those are your new items at Jack in the Box. Limited time only. Um, I'm sure up until late September early October I guess I mean we'll have to see but I, that's my my prediction we'll, we'll have it a couple months and then they'll do something else uh, maybe they'll bring the uh, 
basic witch shake back which is a very interesting pumpkin oreo shake but yeah that's it that's my review i'm sticking to it and i will see y'all around Yay!